So I've joined Google as a winter intern and I got PPO just after 2 weeks. I'm a senior software developer and I have total experience of around 13 years. I applied for Flipkart and Google at the same time. Unfortunately, I was not selected in Flipkart. Most of people think that if you are into tier 1 colleges like IITs or NITs, that is how you would be getting into Google. But for me, I am not from tier 1 college. They called me up after a year of applying for a different role. Google, a dream company for many people in the tech industry. And not just Google, but there are companies like Amazon, Meta, Nvidia, Microsoft and many more that people call big tech or tech giants. And people obviously love to aim those companies uh, as a software engineer obviously because of the scale of the challenges that they are facing but how do you get yourself in one of these companies hello everyone this is josh and uh, by the time of recording this video while i am still a google employee but by the time you see this video I would have left Google. The reason being, I feel that I've gotten an even more interesting and challenging and a better opportunity for my career as a senior software engineer in DoorDash. So this video is shot in my old office where uh, I talked with a lot of engineers at Google who have different role profiles and different level of work experience as well. So no matter where you are in your career journey, you will definitely find this video useful. These stories of different people will not only have a pinch of motivation and inspiration but the most important thing that it will have is like an invaluable strategic advice if you are aiming to get into one of these big techs but before we go any further into the video do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and once you've done that let's jump right in um, so thanks for joining us omkar hey, thank you uh, so much, yes. yeah so t tell us about your role and uh, what do you do here how much of work experience do you have okay i have a total of around 10 years of experience uh, i've been with google for around 2.5 of them and i work as a uh, cloud ai architect and especially focusing on the cci vertical i am pranjali so i have joined google as a winter intern uh, i was 23 graduate so i've joined in the january of 2023 so i've completed a six month internship and i got ppo just after two weeks okay. so and joined the same uh, location so I'm working out of Pune and I'm working in the same team as internship so if we'll calculate the internship time as well it's been one and a half year I've okay. been with Google hi everyone my name is uh, Deepak Srivastava I'm a senior software developer uh, in databases engineering in Google Cloud so I've been at Google for almost two, two years now and I have total experience of around 13 years uh, my name is Moks. I've been at Google for last two years and little over two years now. Uh, my role, I'm a, I'm a technical solution consultant. So currently I'm working as a software developer in Google and my team is uh, key management, which is under cloud security. I've been here in the Google for past six months. Okay, so relatively very new. Yeah, relatively. Okay, new. and how, of, how much of work experience do you have outside Google? I have uh, approx five years of experience. My name is Neha Viradar. Uh, my role is Cloud Infrastructure Engineer, which was also called a Strategic Cloud Engineer before. Uh, and I work in Google Cloud Consulting. Under that, I work in Google uh, Services Delivery. My role, uh, you can compare it with Cloud Architect role. That is generally uh, what other companies prefer to call it. My overall experience is uh, five years now. Like on 1st July itself, I, I have like completed five years and at Google it's been uh, 2.5 years to be precise. Right, makes sense. And how did you apply in your for your internship? Was it off campus or was it on campus? Yeah, so it's an off campus opportunity. So like I have applied to the career page only. There was an opening for winter internship for 23 graduates. Okay. Like though for those who are in the third year of their internship, they have to apply it. I have applied in August, hmm. uh, August 2022. I got an email for interview around September and got offer at September and only. After getting offer from Google, I've given interviews for Amazon and they selected me as well. Okay. So, yeah. And then you joined Google? I joined Google. I didn't apply to Google basically. This was when a recruiter reached out to me and uh, I don't think I applied via the careers website. It was just that recruiter reached out to me on LinkedIn and then the phone conversation started and things started taking place. I didn't apply it at that moment 
but it their database had my resume or something they called me up after a year of applying for a different role so i think that's how i got a call about interview for screening and then it got into the process it's not just that i applied it 2 months ago for the role and i got it but the database had my resume that's oh, it okay. so so when like people say do you want to retain this job application it's not a scam they actually look at yes. it okay yes. i actually didn't apply for google okay uh, i got a call from a recruiter that we have uh, viewed your profile in linkedin mm-hmm. and we want to get in touch with you and frankly that time i was not looking for a change i just gave google interview because i was like okay i have a free time i should do it okay so when i was interviewing for, with google i was also interviewing with microsoft it was more of a solution engineering role did not get selected or you decided not to join so i think the interview himself said you shouldn't go with this role <laughs> reason being that was uh, typically a, a solution supported role where i was co data engineer before in my experience i applied for flipkart and google at the same time unfortunately okay. i was not selected in flipkart okay. but i was fortunate enough to be selected in google i used to apply to all fan companies and then uh, basically uh, at one point i got reached out by google uh, hr and that's how the entire process started so let's say for example i would have applied for 100 odd jobs okay. of which i got reached out to two so that that those are the odds basically okay so that's setting the realistic expectation yes. for even our viewers that you have to be ready for a lot of rejections luckily um, i tried for google for the first time okay. and then got through so i <laughs> i did not appear for other uh, vendors and then how important is dsa and what was like your experience of interview process i would say dsa is important for interviews period even though right now i don't use it that much in my day to day uh, job but dsa is important for interviews and uh, the difficulty of the questions in dsa i think would be depending on the role that you are interviewing for so for me uh, as a cloud engineer i think that the difficulty level was somewhat a little bit lower than what it could have been for sws or maybe the number of rounds were less uh, coding rounds were less so for example if i take a detailed python interview of a java developer he's not going to pass that right so what common ground can i find so dsa is basically provides a common ground in a common language to test people uh, not considering their tech background mm. but considering what is their logical reasoning skills mm. how do they apply their learning because you will never see a dsa question repeat right what right. you have to do is you have to solve a lot of questions mm. extrapolate the knowledge that you have gained and apply it to a new question so that's what they are testing dsa is important for cracking interviews uh, it is not only to clear the interviews it basically uh, evolve your analytical thinking as well mm. yeah so as you have heard from these folks continuous learning and dedication is obviously key and that's why i have something special to share with you all today so let's go to that message have you ever dreamed about mastering a new skill but worrying about time commitments and the cost that it takes to take these courses online well geeks for geeks has the perfect solution for you the 390 challenge so here's the deal choose any course that you want from dsa to java backend development even things like machine learning or data science or highly specialized courses that help you clear the gate exams So let's say if you take one course and if you complete 90% of the course within the first 90 days then you get 90% of your money back. So it's as simple as rewarding your commitment to learning something new. When I got to know about this program I thought I should definitely share it with the viewers of this channel because I mean think about it you can learn an entirely new skill or practice things like dsa with just like 10% of the course fee. Just head to geeks for geeks and pick any one course that you like and just start transforming your career because the only way to fail sometimes is by just not trying at all and thank you so much geeks for geeks for sponsoring this amazing video now back to our inspiring google stories and one more question that we get so often is does your college tier matter uh, when you're applying to google like if you are from iits versus if you are not if you are from a tier 3 college does it have a huge impact uh i will say it's a yes or no thing so having an iit or nit or bits in your college degree is a plus sign there's no doubt about it people who say it's not it's it's wrong it basically shows that there was a stage in your life when you really worked hard mm. and you achieved something and uh, there is no harm in being in a two, tier 2 college it's just that you have to work hard enough to be outshine others mm. 
and show that even if you are from a tier 2 you have a capability of excelling in your field as compared to other iits and nits most of people think that if you are into tier 1 colleges like iits or nits that is how you would be getting into google but for me i am not from tier 1 college and i think that matters when it's your first job you get some more opportunities basically if the companies are coming to your campus but after that after you gain some years of experience i don't think it matters so if you did that much efforts while cracking a college mm-hmm. you'll save out of the effort you did for getting a good company right. and in your case are you from an iit or no, nit no, i am from a tier 3 college only okay and uh, if you are appearing for the first time right or as fresh grad mm. then probably college makes more right. uh, impact rather than if you have experience of let's say 3 year 5 year then college typically don't factor that much and, and what's the best thing about google or i would say what is keeping you here at google even after 2 years for me it's the challenging work the new tech that it brings every day and second thing is uh, the food basically okay. i i just love the food that we get in office so yeah two things that keep me in google i'll say the work life balance it's great for me i wake up i come to gym uh, i take shower at google i have a nice breakfast in google <laughs> and then i have to basically sit and work for some time uh, you know the people around me are really great which i like about google is the people the kind of people google hires with their googliness values right it creates a tremendous atmosphere within the uh, office and then you really enjoy working with your colleagues right everyone is so helping so friendly and what's your advice for somebody who is out of college and wants to apply to big tech what should they focus on more focus on your resume first because this it is the key part from where you got the interview right uh after that like obviously dsa dsa is important if you are not good with dsa you there are very low chances you get hired right. so focus on that there are typically um, i am at l5 level in google which is a senior software engineer position so it typically has five rounds uh, two coding rounds one is the domain expertise round so i was in databases so i had a specific databases uh, round then there is a design round and since i was spe- specifically applying for database roles mm. so my design was in specifically in databases so databases is design specific role if you are applying for a general software engineer role then uh, you will have to uh, prepare for the generic software design mm. um, things as well right like how to design a whatsapp kind of a system or a google drive kind of a system uh, then there is a googliness round in certain cases they might ask for some follow up rounds as well right mm-hmm. so if they feel that let's say in your coding you are not sufficiently mm-hmm. they might have some doubts right mm-hmm. they might request for another coding round mm-hmm. or another design rounds as well so at my level let's say you are a 10 year experience right so people expect you to understand the system end to end right uh, so dsa for sure will be one uh, huge aspect no matter what experience level you are in but system design right that's very important so you need to understand how basically a platform is laid out what all are the components that are there and how do they fit in together getting into big tech dsa is very important but as per my experience for cloud specific roles i told the recruiter that uh, i haven't been coding since a long while as my role doesn't require it and they were completely like uh, they were okay with that they gave me some time to prepare as well so even if you are not very prepared uh, with dsa you'll get some time and you'll also get some tips from recruiter as to what topics you can cover and they also provide you learning material so don't limit yourself apply you'll get to know the experience you can reapply again so yeah keep trying you can't be just sitting and thinking like yeah i will get it i will do some small stuff and i will get it you have to outshine things you have to work really hard and i think there is nothing stopping you if you really want to go into the big companies they have ample of being in india i think you have ample of you know opportunities and companies so it's just you have to see for yourself like if i really want to get into that i have to work hard that's it Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be very insightful for our viewers and very motivating. Thanks a lot for being with us. Thank you, Jish.